one zero recording HR meeting Monday April 10 we're moving right along uh, HR update for the week is a lot of turnout as far as the the numbers of people so we're talking about uh, let's go to the OSC devs page which is our uh, metric there's our graph of effort uh, we had five new people pretty much past the test over the last two weeks so they're getting brought on board the OSC developer hours if you go let me share the screen um, with you guys as well if you look at the OSC de developer hours there's um, I did actually a one little mid course correction there you kind of saw this kind of drop down one guy it turned out it was my bad because I think the form wasn't clear one guy one guy was putting in cumulative hours as opposed to the hours for the week so every week he was adding from before so it got up to like 60 I said hey what's going on here you're not you can't be doing this more than a full-time thing so anyway caught that and these numbers went down a little bit the little uh, burp here which means going down is people who haven't logged that means they either didn't do work or didn't log so we got to be vigilant about it um, and the expectation is for the two graphs to be following one another which is like it is like like this is on average people are doing 10.35 hours well no it's uh de yeah developer hours but divided by the number of developers so for that it's the total number of hours divided by uh five developers no is it five or ten oh, i forget i i better check this because I, I might have done this bad. but these two graphs should be following one another actually next week we, we'd be expecting to get a nice spike because today i got a lot of good people going on we're doing explode apart animations actually within freecad which is very cool because that's uh that's pretty powerful um, but yeah, so that's that. And then let's go to the scorecard. And I think the main thing to, I think to, yeah, wrap our head around is the scorecard here. Um, HR scorecard. So let's, let's go with that. Uh, I'm going to go to HR scorecard. And see where we're at. Um, so before we go further, I had one question for Richard and that is, um are you keeping track of the um I mean I'm gonna enter here the the badges we want to have those on the wiki so okay. did you send the number of those out uh yes I sent those out with the welcome emails that yeah. I've sent so far I've just got them in my uh, folder on my desktop yeah um yeah I'll, I'll put them on the page um and then you kind of you want them under like uh, where do you want me to put them in the wiki yeah let's see bad like uh, developer badges um, we could set up a page that's just badges or I mean it should be on your log but but for continuity purposes it should be OSC developer badges we can set that up um, I would say let's let's create that page which is just OSC developer or developer badges. Um, yeah, let's just start that developer badges because uh, the idea is once they pass the semester or the quarter, they get a star. Uh, so let's um, let's do that page. Um, I was trying to pull up the agenda here from last week so so HR going to HR log where uh, last week I just recorded the video with heart I was gonna post that up there and I will and just like I'm recording this one I, I guess I didn't get a chance to post it so we're a little behind which leads me to say that in this meeting too um, so HR log right here team meeting April 3rd uh, I'm gonna continue the notes within the April 3rd agenda and we can I'll switch that over to April 10 but this kind of makes me think guys like just like in um, in the OSC dev team we do want to have somebody take on this process like the process management part like updating the uh, yeah like this team log agenda putting things on there uh, it was my duty. I didn't get a chance to do it. I was doing other things, but any thoughts on that part? Um, to liberate me from doing that, uh, 
Can you? Can one of you maybe? Yeah. Do the numbers. I, I can probably do that. Yeah, and so. Just gonna update the every week. Update the log. Yeah, update the HR like log. Yep. So the meeting, like for example, if we do, if we take notes right now, embed that. Do you know how to embed? There's two ways you can do it. One, you can actually file, make a copy, and that way you make a copy and you can eliminate all the pages from last week and start a new document. Or you can embed on a certain page. Have you heard about that? Have you seen that? Yeah, well, you maybe. In the wiki or in Google? Yeah, like, um, well, within the wiki. Slide. So here you go to the publish to the web and you do embed, and there's a little trick. Uh, so if you copy that, so I'm actually going to do the small one. Let's let's do the small ones. So I'm going to copy that and go to the um, HR log right here, and I'm going to, if I edit, So just to show you how that works. So Monday, I just do April 10. So you gotta do the HTML tags. What I do is I hit the W here, that gets you that, that, but I just paste that into that thing that was highlighted. And I just change that to HTML and HTML at the end. Uh, but now we've got that. But you also want to put an edit link since you can't edit that otherwise. So the edit link is just grabbing the link from the top and then putting this little edit thing. Okay, but right after the 3000 there in there, you put number and that will get you to the page. So just to zoom in on that, um, there's the 3000 within the source code for the embedded doc. And right after that 3000, delay MS 3000, you put number and whatever page you wanna start the embed in so here it would actually be page one because we're the newest page is on top but that means in the next in uh since april 3rd has shifted to page two you'd have to change the april 3rd entry from the wiki does that make sense like here right, if you so want to if you want to embed embe from wherever yeah so like right now i'm like gonna do right. let me just go further here just to go through that so here we're going to slide, duplicate the slides, and then I'm going to just hack this slide. So I'm going to, this is going to be our April 10 meeting. So we want to move the agenda from last time. So, so the tw April 27 kind of disappears. The 20, the third kind of stays. And then April 10 is created. And then we put the bullet points here. And then um, you know for the badges, so that's the first thing we talked. The OSC badges log. Maybe that's a log thing because it's. Let's do a log. OSC badge log. Badges um, developer badge log. <laughs> Anything that we log over time is should be called a log. So let's call that a log. And then, well, we called it already developer badges, but that's fine. We can just change that to developer badges log. Yeah. Yeah, let's call it that. And then I just do that as a hyperlink there. Okay, so we've got that. So that's uh, just the badges should go there. That's one outstanding item I was wondering about. And then um, I want to do the HR scorecard. That's kind of the main thing. Anything else for today? That's um, it's an important issue that I want to make sure we hit. In my research for posting um, student positions, Mm -hmm. I noticed there's a lot of policies for every single university, and they're all a little bit different, so you kind of have to mm -hmm. do your research for every one of them. Mm -hmm. A lot of them have uh, pay requirements, like they're not really for volunteer positions. Uh -huh. um, so we may need to rethink 
posting to the student employment websites and instead go more of like a student club angle or a uh -huh. very, yeah. very specific volunteer. And a lot of the universities use volunteer match, I've seen. Uh huh. I see. Um, so that, that was kind of an unforeseen surprise in my last week's activities. I see. Okay. So we simply have to find an angle. And that means each of the venues we simply document, okay, here's how you post it. So that will be part of the process, and I think that's where we should document. So so you got your whole pipeline. Um, let's look at how that how that's documented in the pipeline. So if we go to the to this, um, that's kind of caught in the general recruiting pipeline. Are you kind of catching that? So so target individuals. Well, so it's maybe maybe that's the thing there. Like maybe, so you got these target communities here, and then this would be where where that's the perhaps the protocol. Do we want to replace that with something that represents more the the posting protocol? Oh, so the or, target individuals identified. I I was considering that more like when you just in your day to day life run across run across someone who you think would be good, like a personal contact. That's kind of what I was thinking for target individuals. Uh, Those are not at the communities, or are they are at the target communities? No, I, I don't consider them part of the community. The community I consider like either just like an online group or even like the job posting uh -huh. websites. And individuals are just people we just happen to identify over the course of yeah. our daily life, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so we should make a note of that. So target individuals... Um, I'm going to put a note in there. Or if you can put a note in there saying these are just people we run into. These are not from the... Not from the individual communities. Yep, so as we gain clarity on this, we can roll. I take it you're adding that? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so a note or a link, but there's a, I typically insert, I've been inserting notes, like Shift F2, or you can do a link, whichever. Um, the link allows you to get more text happening at, on the wiki itself. Yep, that's good. So, right, so, well, with that said, so, where are we, so from, okay, we got these target communities. Where are we recording all the protocols for those target communities? Like job description posted to community. Uh, we ha we want to have a place somewhere which lists how exactly to do that. So let's see, is that, yeah, would that, that be a... I think that would be just another log, like almost like a okay. uh, job board posting log or Okay. Something. Um, Richard, you've got something uh, close I to have... that. Don't, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, that's... Uh... Right now I've got that in the HR um, manual under that section. Um, I think we're calling it. Let me pull it up here. I forgot what we're calling it. Yeah, it's on HR on the page HR. Huh. On the HR page. Um, oh, actually, uh, there's a link to it under the, the HR scorecard. I just. Uh, posted it. It's actually under the HR general activities. All HR postings. Um, but yeah, you can, you can get to it where you are. Um, it's under job posting venues. Links to OSC job announcements. Yeah. Um, okay, links to OSC job announcements here on the HR page. Uh, by the way, HR, HR expands to Human Resources Operations Manual. I've got a, if you type in HR, that is directed to Human Resource Operations Manual. Okay. Um, so there's the HR generalist and the OSC developer. So I I'm, I'm, uh, made the rest of those posts for the developer today. Um, so okay. Those are the four that are all free. That are just like job posting volunteer venues that you can post for free, so those are kind of the ones that Right. We... So these are the venues, but still what's missing is the actual protocols for those venues, because even these we want to document, okay, exactly how do you do it, what's the best strategy, etc. And uh, 
right? So I think we still, like if we go to the index of um, HR operations manual, there's the posting venues. I don't think we have anything for the actual protocols. The closest to that would be the actual HR protocols, which are all these ones, approved protocols, pending protocols, but so so anyway, we don't have a placeholder yet in particular for the basically a few lines of instructions for every venue because every every right. there's gonna be little tricks for every place like how to really score on that right. one. So what do we call yeah. it? Yeah. Um, actually, I um I did create a wiki page. Let me okay. Send the link over. So it, so if you did, I think it should be linked from HR. So what's that? Um. HR underscore recruitment underscore protocols. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Oh, okay. So now this is the gen. So that's the general, and then we can do a list. So this would be yep. guidelines. Oh, I see. It's, it's under the links on that. And then we would say list. Um, okay, so yeah, let's do that here. So so let's let's put that link over into the HR recruitment protocol. So let's put that into the scorecard under this. So job description posted to com no no job description posted. I guess. Job description posted to community. I'll just make a note here. Um, yeah, a comment here would be insert comment. Now insert note. So see procedures for this at HR recruitment protocols, which is. Let's see, how is that different? We got HR protocols and HR recruitment protocols. And it's getting uh, a little hairy. HR protocols. Oh, I see here. HR recruitment protocols. Yeah, so protocols are in general, these are for par particularly for recruitment. That makes enough sense to me. Okay, logic there is we've got all protocols and HR protocols. Sub Subcategory is the recruitment because that's one specific part. That, that makes sense to me. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. And then as far as the recruitment protocols, do we want to kind of mm -hmm. separate it a little bit as far as like posting online and yeah. sort of like message boards? Yeah, we should, we could do in the list. I mean, that, that might go into the guidelines, but the comprehensive list, yeah, we can go, go for, um, yeah, there's many, many different ones, job boards, um, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's going to be, so university, volunteers, uh, job boards, the job boards, we could benefit from doing that all over the world for international job boards. Yeah, so there's going to be a whole bunch of different categories there. Um, okay, so I think here, yeah, we'll do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's next on this? Um, we've got a large number here, and just to, just to go over this, um, what's the work cut out for this week? Um, um, just I just wanted to speak. To my last week was unfortunately yep. under the weather much of the time, and um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm recovered now. I'm gonna kind of kick in high gear, but I didn't get much. Um, done as far as recruiting goes last week. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, if you want to uh, split some of those up, because that's, uh, that's a pretty big number there. Uh, maybe I'll kind of like, it, it seems like you got a good start on, on sort of how to approach it, but um, if you want to just kind of let me know like um, kind of like what your approach is and maybe you want to split yeah, some we off, should. Like, yeah. Thing. Yeah, I think we should uh, try to divide and conquer. I think I, I actually am encouraged by the 
the university chapters or university venue. One recent candidate, Chaz, for example, he's a perfect candidate. He's he's actually he joined the team. He's from Michigan Tech, and uh, basically he's a senior getting a job, but really interested in this, and he just wants to. He's really excited about continuing, and I think he's gonna do it. So I'm actually quite encouraged about the university venues as a as a good place. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, um, Richard, yeah. we, we can talk more offline, but just in general, we could just almost play like A through M or whatever, and then you do N through Z or something. Um, sure. But I, I want to figure out the difference between po posting on a student job board versus like a chapter or student club, because yeah. the job boards are a little bit more stringent and they a lot of them require us to, to actually pay the students, which yeah. makes sense. Right? Um, this is right. a volunteer opportunity. It's a little different. Right, right. Um, and, uh, just a thought. I, I, it seems like universities will, you know, might have some kind of like maker club. I just remember all kinds of like clubs and stuff when I was in that's, uh, college. I would comment on that. That's one one route is the comment route, but it's a club. One is the club route. The other route is the career placement office. They if they have, I'm sure some of them would have free postings. Um, yeah, and there's so if, if they do only have like student, if it's really strict about true employees that get paid. There's other offices that are more for volunteer. A lot of right. A, lot, a big trend in these is kind of social outreach and. Uh, local impact so we just have to find right. where on the website those are right so instead of uh, right i think we we shift our thinking probably more from career to volunteer office yep. which i mean all all yeah. universities have decent volunteer branches definitely mm -hmm. yeah so it's and just well, case by case you gotta scour kind of got to get good at what to look for there but we should start to you know, maybe pick like, pick one your favorite university, or a couple of pick three top three, and then and just start looking for it. Just get focused. Yeah, it's kind of. I mean, it would be good to prioritize because not all those universities are equal. So uh, priorities, however, however to prioritize that. Um, and I I don't have good suggestions on how to. I know that if you can get people from Michigan Tech there. <laughs> We've had a lot of good luck with Michigan Tech because the open source lab is there. But yeah, yeah there's going to be go with, uh, the bigger universities. Yeah, I think definitely. that's going to give us more return on our time investment. Yeah, I think so. I think you probably might want to score your universities from rank them. I don't know if you can from the biggest to the smallest, but but maybe take a list of the top large ten largest universities and then start there, maybe. Yeah, um, and also yeah. in the chat there, I made just a really quick printer flyer. Um, so if we want to just print some out and drop them off around campuses that we happen to be around. Like I work on a college campus, so I can just kind of throw these flyers all over the place. But I want to get some feedback just to make sure we're communicating the right thing. Yeah. yeah um, could, could you maybe put that in the, in the wiki somewhere? I can grab it because I don't get the chat box on my phone. Yeah. Yep. I'll it's on the... Oh. Okay, okay. So this is on the HR group. Wow, I missed this. This is uh, oh, it's on HR. very cool. Wait, where is it? HR group. Uh, yeah, the, it's the most recent post on the HR group for the network to open source ecology. Network. Well, all right. So we should comment. So this is our, yeah, yeah, let's, let's start using uh, this group here. But we already talked about the flyers a little bit. And and what was our conclusion? That was in one of the old meetings, but we had a template, flyer template also. Uh, if we go back yeah. probably to HR log, there's probably that template is probably linked there now, somewhere in an old meeting. Yeah, I, I think it's in the operations manual somewhere. Um, I know down by, I, I know I have the templates for the badges on there and for the stickers. I don't think I put the flyer down there, but the flyer's somewhere. Um, right, so it would be nice to kind of like by each. I can find it because I so on that that, okay. uh, that HR page, if you go down under badges, it's got all the, the 
patch templates. It's got the stickers on there and like the OSC logo. Um, so maybe we could kind of add the, the flyer in that area. Badges like under 14 here. Yes. And then, mm hmm. Yeah, so yeah, let's, let's add it on the main page there. That'll be good. But yeah, yeah. Um, templates, that'll be good. Yeah, I mean, we should get a good, get this well organized here um, eventually. But yes, this is good. The, as far as the. Call that just yeah call it a flyer template so yeah please add that in there because you've you've been and then post it to the i think a good place to keep track of the conversations is exactly in the hr osc network hr group yeah we should start using that more mm -hmm. yeah so yeah yeah i mean feel free to blast it all over the campus um the one we have as a template is pretty good too so yeah. Coordinate with Richard on that. Cool. And mm -hmm. I know uh, one of the main goals is to have Richard and I kind of be leading this and kind of free yeah. you up to do other things. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering how we can kind facilitate. of structure a path to that. Or yeah. 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 Let's facilitate that. that. My thoughts are to ask you what are your thoughts. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I think we're getting pretty close. yeah, um, I mean, I think, I think it's like we got to, some, some person, someone might say it's like, forget about doc, all this documentation. So we're doing a lot of paper trail leaving. Um, but one way to go about it is just go right into, okay, just start, forget about this, just start contacting people. And, and then, cause every interaction you have gives you feedback on how to do this and you get more insight. And once you get actual traction on a just on the ground and then your authority to to edit for example the hr you know the hr page it's like oh yeah i know this works now because i did and i actually got a couple of people there and you just become much more authoritative when once you start doing that so i would say just dive into it and then um uh keep the keep the yeah um the scorecard in in mind like 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 yeah, like we should just go back to the scorecard to get really. I think I think the process would be like really clarify the scorecard, all the aspects of it, and once it's all clear, like you know we're still adding notes and kind of refining this and so forth. Um, but once we get really yeah, good at I, understanding what all these things are, then then it just goes on by itself. Yeah, I think I think we're kind of slowly getting there. I, um, I, I was going through the um, those venues today. I'm sort of like trying to familiarize myself a little bit with them and see if there's any kind of tricks. Uh, I went to that Indeed where there was all those applicants, but they weren't like filling out the. Yeah. They weren't putting in applications. They just sort of like yeah. posted their resume on there. Yep. Um, I went through and called a bunch of those today. There's actually like 12 of them on there. Yeah. Um, I got a couple of responses. I, I did that just before the meeting, so I got uh -huh. some texts and. Um, so I'm going to follow up with those because maybe, you know, I'd like to be able to maybe pull from there. Yeah. Uh, maybe from those venues and just right. like maybe I can even, you know, if I can line up the interview, do the interview and yeah. just yeah, yeah. completely get someone on board. Definitely. Start to finish, then I kind of know I can do it. And then maybe, you know, like once I have some success with the, you know, then maybe I can start taking over a little bit more and just kind of higher stay and just uh, sort of dive in, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Right, and when you do that, just the, the thing that's in the scorecard right here is the interviews and interviews posted on YouTube. So look at that. For example, last week, I lost one. Uh, I had actually six interviews last week. I posted five on YouTube. And as far as YouTube, there's a playlist, and I'll share that list with you. But what you probably want to do is... Um, What's the best way to do it? We we do probably want to have them on OSC YouTube, uploaded to YouTube, so I can probably just get you those, uh, the credentials for the OSC YouTube. The yeah yeah we could do that, um, so we can be uploading straight to the OSC YouTube. Um, one happened, for example, here those numbers should be equal, interviews and posted interviews. One person just 
somehow the the yeah the hangout wasn't working there so I think that's that's what happened there but yeah yeah I think go through the full chain so let's maybe go through more of these so new developers uh, we have three and two that's last week and this week interview six five five posted um, this week one well, only one posted last last week but with that said like with these numbers up like like new developers those three and two here that means our numbers of development hours should really be going up um, HR postings let's see uh, so that's cool there let's see if we l click on that link what happens there is that clear then otherwise it's um, email templates let's see what what happened there So like for example the postings log HR postings log yeah like I wasn't clear what happened there like for example all HR postings maybe I can check that log yeah okay I got streamlined so it's really easy to understand share postings log it looked like mine who did the, is that your two or I did not do that one. That's under Richard. Richard, did you post that too in there? Yes, I did. I did that today. Um, so, for example, if I but if I click on it, does it make any sense to me? I couldn't make any sense of it. As okay, in, so it should just go to. See, so that's where it took me. Those, yeah, right. Where um, so those bottom two, it's the volunteer match and idealist under the OSC developer. Uh huh. It's both of those. Um, okay. Yeah, so that link yeah, didn't help do that. So I don't know how we can we can track that. Um, yeah, no, it, I mean to have a link like on every little thing, it's kind of a lot of work here. But somehow, like when something important, like mm, you know, it should maybe be clear. Just, uh, from, maybe link that to my log where I can kind of like yeah explain a little bit. What yeah, like for example, it, we should probably not have any links in this section because it just becomes a total mess. Like it's really, really super detailed. It might take too much time. Like if we click on one of these things, we sh it should be transparent enough to, for example, say, okay, if this is uh, Richard on the week of, let's see, where's the date here? Upstairs. 4-3rd, uh, on that date, I click on HR postings. Well, I click on that two well if that two were not linked I would click on HR postings somewhere it'd have to be transparent under HR postings that it was uh, so this is the log yeah I would be expecting those to show up here if that's what that is okay, um, okay. yeah but we should, I mean, I think we should get a method here. The method should be, okay, we got all these things. Because as soon as you well, click on it, I, you should be able to identify so what I, each I, of these stand for. I'm posting that. Because I'm posting that to my log and the HR postings log. Which is a little, I don't know if that's, that's I, mean, I guess it could just be both. Yeah, uh, we kind of got to streamline all of this to make, yeah. make all of this really efficient. But, yeah, it's... I mean, some, like when you do it, somewhere there has to be a paper trail, and then like the scorecard should, yeah, should uh, add more sense to it as opposed to make things more confusing. <laughs> so we gotta we gotta work this out. Um, but maybe you know, kind of think about it. I would say you know the, the thing that would make most sense to me here is like if I maybe like each of these things is a log. You know, that's kind of what this would really call for because then by the date as we go through the dates here. You would know, okay, in this new developer log, yeah, man, what if we turn into turn all of these into logs? Because then we like track them by date. Technology. Yeah. So that for example, like on that log, yeah. if you if you got four three on that log or any time before that in that week, then you know that's that's new developers and then you should sign your name like hey I you know MJ or or RW. 
SHL for whoever did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, but I think you guys have to adopt it. You got, you guys got to start doing it. Um, so, yeah, I think which, as we're going through it, yeah, it's, it's, we're, we're kind of figuring out what's yeah working the best. Yeah, I think I think what you have to do is once once we get the flow of this, maybe it's maybe it's that some of these things here are just don't belong here. They they're like too much or or because I still like the new developers. That pipeline is good. The the number of interviews, um, development effort growth. Okay, I put the yeah those those are still I, I'd say those are the really important ones up on top. So so as we go along, I think we should probably like reorder this to kind of. Uh, put the important things on top, l lower importance things on the bottom, um, and hopefully this is not so many things that it's hard to keep track of. Or maybe it's the fact that you know when only, we only have two people on a team, we can only do like you know really manage the la you know top three or four things. As we get more people, they can start managing more of the bottom level levels. Um, so yeah, definite case for growth of the team. But I think you got to really make the road by walking here on this. Yeah, any thoughts? Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it'll become a little bit more clear if we keep going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd say. I'd say keep going. Um, yeah, yeah. And still, with the, yeah, just kind of keep keeping track of the overall goals which are to you know be at a con a good two per two people so six per week like like what we did here actually um you know three and two that's literally one third of our goal for within 90 days from now so yeah we're kind of you know getting there we can say but yeah that number here the new developers Plus the staff part that should be growing to six, and the new developers should be going to six. Right now we're kind of actually at the quota because for two people we're expecting two per week. So we can say these last two weeks we had major success. <laughs> um, we can just celebrate and quit right here. <laughs> no, that's good. Um, yeah, yeah. Anything else? I think I think it really boils down to diving into the universities and and kicking it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna put in some more hours. And, uh, my vacation's over, so. I'm, and, uh, when are you getting back? Uh, actually, today I've been I'm in Florida for one night. That's tomorrow. I'm flying back to Chicago, so I'm gonna be kind of back this thing, I think. Uh, I see. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So you're on the way back. That's pretty good. And uh, by the way, we've, we've got three registrations for the 3D printer already, which is pretty good. So that's moving right along. I'm going to you know, continue work on that and get everything going. But the idea is, like, the new people that joined, I actually got some of them going on some new topics. But still, the, the idea is, think about it as every four people we get, it's literally like getting a, a new full-time person, which means that you can really start like a solid like every four people four new people we get we really have like a visible jump in velocity you know uh, it's like having a new person on a team literally a new project moving forward in a steady way so that's kind of how i think about it. but definitely yeah keep throwing those people at me we've got i mean we've got many many tasks that lay ahead and the thing that that what i see myself doing like today for example i wrote the specification for the universal controller say for the larger machines like the CNC torch table or the six foot tall 3D printer and stuff like that. Um, my job will be, as we evolve, it goes towards, um, more towards, okay, here's what we gotta do, this is how it relates to the whole system, uh, and basically get people started on different tasks, like the, like the universal controller, I got Chaz started on that, and, um, Things like that, so yeah. Yeah, yeah and I think if we kind of go through we, and start adding more people, 
we're going to kind of start to see, like, here's what we need to do. Like, here's, like, where you can kind of group tasks yeah. to where, um, you know, we know, like, what to give to who. You know, like, like here's one person who can do these. Yeah. Like, this set of tasks within this many hours. I think we're going to kind of get better at doing that. Yeah. I'm thinking for the pipeline, like we said, six. I would pro I mean, six is our goal for this this quarter but i would actually up that to a few more people because we can definitely use like an hr process manager like the person who prepares the meetings uh documents like the process oriented person as opposed to the the person who wants to create and innovate like yeah i could definitely see like six people just going through the pipeline because that's literally like having one and a half full-time people uh, looking for people full-time right um i would say yeah, we could definitely have two full-time people looking for people. Like one would be the SMEs, the people who we invite to our Monday working meeting to present stuff to us, and like another full-time person just to get the OSE developers. I think both are pretty, pretty much full-time jobs. Like, yeah, to get all the technical subject matter, there could be like a technical recruiter for more of the technical subject matter experts than more of the just the OSC devs in general but I could see like eight people doing just that uh, just the recruiting pipeline and then like one or two more for process management to follow up with the people kind of like the community manager type of person like if someone doesn't show up to a meeting we follow up with them or the idea of we're gonna follow up with you hey I want to check in with you on Wednesday just that 50% I heard in my uh, I love marketing sessions. The one thing they say there, just the expectations gets people to to put that energy in. Um, right. So you're the fact like, that well, you're checking up. Sort of like a follow up on Monday, or I'm sorry, the meeting on Monday, and then a follow up on Wednesday. Yeah. Even if you know, if you don't talk about anything, that's right. been worthwhile because they know that there someone's looking after them, and it's this right. human psychology stuff. So. Uh, yeah, it would be good to build in the the follow-up and kind of taking care of the community, making sure, like, like right now, I don't know what people's needs are and how they're getting met. Like, the feedback and, and right. review kind of function should be inserted into this process sometime. Yeah, because... Um, right, yeah, I remember Hart, you were, Hart had talked about that on the, our first meeting, sort of like, um, you know, like how to sort of ask people you know, yeah. how... Yeah, like like what I noticed in the interviews, a lot of people are saying they're joining up because they want to learn various things. For some, it's learning English. For some, it's learning CAD or the overall development process. But people want to learn. So the kind of thing we should be checking up on, okay, are your learning objectives being met? How can we do better? And to do better, we can certainly do things like bring in instructors. Like that's where the SMEs, the guys who just show up to our Monday meeting or show up to like a separate webinar, and give us a really cool lowdown on some kind of a skill, you know. Um, yeah. That would keep the educational part up. I felt today, just to review today, like today we started on the exploded part diagrams. It turns out it's relatively easy to do within FreeCAD. And pe I think people were quite excited. And it's like, okay, we're scheduling. So like every week we should almost have, well, we should. We should have, okay, the objective for this week, <clears throat> exploded part diagrams. Next week would be like, Okay, now we're doing various little animations within FreeCAD, or the next week we're doing fabrication drawings, like very distinct skills. Or like now we learn how to render this like a pro and uh, make little uh, blender animations or this or that. Just a lot of, lot of cool skills that people would be looking forward to the meeting just to learn that skill. Uh, but they happen to be doing some work for us at the same time, right? That's that's the cool part. I kind of see, I kind of like where it's going right now, where we're definitely spending the time training people, but training for some product back. And that, that kind of a relationship, I think, can work, and we can expand on that. I think that's a good, I think that's a decent model. Mm -hmm. Are those um, kind of instructional sessions being recorded? Yeah, like if you look at, for example, this Monday's meeting, which uh, it just finished rendering here, I'm going to upload it. Look at the, this Monday's meeting, today's, and see the overview of the the FreeCAD exploded part animations. Uh, so, um, but I presented it. I mean, it's like okay, I I learned it. I had to learn it. 
So it would be better, of course, to have a better person do that, someone who actually wrote that add-on to FreeCAD. Like, that's the best person. We, I actually did reach out to that person, and he didn't really show up. Um, so, but to, to follow up and find those people in advance and make sure that when we're coming to a new topic, we've got, like, the best guy in the field talking to us about that, that would be a very attractive proposition for a lot of people. More people would join the team because of that. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'll post it up. You can yeah, just, like said, just skim through it. Like yeah, when, if you ever recorded... Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, you get those subject matter experts, and then you have a report, then you always have it. So it's like, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. And for, ex for what, what's emerging, like one thing I, just to fill you in on the documentation role, I skimmed like 10 different videos on assembly, animations, and by and far, like most of it is pretty trashy, but there's nuggets in there too. So one role for a documenter could be, okay, you scan all the videos and just re-edit to cut out all the fluff, cut out, like a lot of them are, people don't speak on them. I, I don't understand this about CAD, but there's a lot of CAD videos out there. For some reason, they're just taking screenshots and they think that without speaking, people actually learn. And I actually believe there's some people that learn <laughs> when nobody's speaking. Uh, and I'm sure you can, but it just takes so much longer as opposed to that being, having a voiceover, right? But anyway, there's a lot of crap videos out there one role on our team could be take all that crap and edit it voice over it cut out all the trash make high quality videos out of all the existing stuff that's out there already i mean all the all the different instructions are already there except it takes forever to go through it because it's all scattered and and you have um the typical scenario is like a 15 minute video for a thing that you can explain well in 30 seconds if you had a tight video you know that kind of stuff so so that's the case for the documenters as, as we get them on board uh, right now, we don't have much for documentation happening. Like the documenters, they're not piping in. They're, a lot of people, our people are more the developer types. So no one is really emerging as the documenter type. Um, and maybe we, we should probably... Is that, yeah. Is that something um, you want, I, could do, I could post for that specifically on those venues? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That we do. Yeah. With, with the requirements maybe still, because... That. Yeah, that would be another, let's see, do, do we have a job description for a documenter? I think, do we? Uh, if not, we should... One on there. Yeah, um, you can have a couple. Okay, I think we do. Yeah, and for that, yeah, so we should maybe emphasize uh, uh, going for the documenters. And I think the documenter type is probably a, possibly an older person, someone who actually does that, like a technical writer or some kind of a writer of some sort or someone who does documentation. That might be a specific targeted uh, place to look for, targeted market audience. Yeah. But yeah, that's definitely, I mean, we're like right now, definitely, I think it's good that we get in all of these developers, but we're definitely seeing like as when we get enough developers, then we're really gonna feel the need for documentation and faster learning because there's so many things we can learn about and make because everything we teach to our people that's just going to make them perform better so i really believe in that and like today was a prime example where you can you can learn this exploded part animations like really quickly um like a sm one session on a computer and you can do basic stuff like in an hour so that's that kind of investment is if you're going to be spending 10 hours a week an hour of learning which gets you to a much higher product is definitely worth it so, yeah. just my general observations. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, I think we're going okay with the developers first, and then we're, we're going to have to bring in the, the pools of uh, documenters to really... Yeah, at a certain point, it's going to be really critical because right now we can still manage the documentation reasonably well, but once we got so much stuff happening the better organization is going to be of more importance because it's just going to be so much harder to keep up with it. Yeah. 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 Anyway, that's all I got. Um, any comments or questions? Or The question is, yeah, definitely do think about how, how we get you guys just going. And I think maybe just on your own, just secretly uh, interview somebody and make them show up at the team. <laughs> uh,
Yeah. Yeah. Could, uh, record it. And, yeah. Yeah. I think I, I can work on that. Yeah. Just dive in and just uh, kind of make mistakes. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just dive in. I'll share the the interviews. The interview. Uh, I've got a playlist on YouTube. Uh, that's a private playlist because we don't publish those openly. But once you have the link, you can see all the videos in there. So see, like, there's some that are better than others, some that are really worth learning from. But yeah, I had a really lot, lot of nice interviews last week. A lot of really good candidates. So one guy from Iraq. I was like, holy cow, that's the first guy we get from Iraq. But really good guy. I mean, um, so cool stuff happening. Definitely. Yeah. All right, so if you guys don't have any questions, we can finish finish them. Okay. Um, yeah, I yeah. think that's it. I, um, yeah, anything, anything else, uh, I can just send emails. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, do that. So how, how, many, um, how many actual postings at universities do you think you guys are going to make this week? What's your promise for next time? to say it's, it's kind of it, it seems easy you, you think like oh just a posting it shouldn't take yeah. much time but then you kind of each venue yeah even just those four venues are all so different and yeah um, it kind of you know by the time i'm done just sort of going through it just kind of deciding like what to do it's, it kind of adds up so it, it um yeah it's hard to say I, got, I think i could probably just put in the hours to sort of see how many uh we can get because like you're saying um if i might be where we had to sort of fish around and find, you know, the, the volunteer departments or the clubs or whatever, because, like you're saying, if all the, you know, the job placement kind of stuff, you're saying they require payment, you know, maybe that's that end, and maybe we have to find new stuff, so, hard to say. And a lot of them, um, um, you have to create an account, like, user accounts to log in. And yeah. Those, um, I think 20 is a kind of achievable, yet still challenging number, 20 apiece. Okay, that would be that would be pretty good. Yeah, and as far as the logins, make it uniform. Like make it think about the scalability of this. So use the identical password. So the one I gave you guys, use that same one for everything. Um, that would make things easy. And I registered under HR. HR at Open Source College. That would work well. What else do we need to kind of standardize? Um, I I'm gonna set up the volunteer application form so it emails hr at open source called you dot org and we all have access to that now yeah um and i, I do think something i've noticed is i think we should be a little bit um careful with the passwords and whatnot because this organization so open um and everything's recorded and all that um, i think we should just make sure that's very protected Right. Uh, do do you see any security breaches in the house here, at Hart? <laughs> so far, uh, no, because we're just trading it via means I won't mention. But uh, just want to be mindful of it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that's an interesting story. Just to wrap up on uh, the idea, because the Google Docs were actually for a lot of them, because so many people are on the team. I'm just opening them up completely. But the cool thing is about Google Docs, you can restore if someone hacks it, and we've no never had a hack yet. Um, as far as the passwords, yeah, we got to be mindful of that. Um, uh, so I'm gonna try not to say that and <laughs> recorded by mistake in one of these <laughs> these sessions. Right. Uh, so far, I, I haven't. I think once we kind of get, I think once we all get the memo, we should destroy any physical evidence of the passwords, just so we we'll either write them down at home or have them in our heads. Right. Yeah. Yeah, don't put them on any docs or anything. Yeah, just be careful about what you publish on the docs that are public because the wiki's public um, and all that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that would be cool. So next week we can pretty much uh, go over, kind of get some traction under our feet and then see, okay, how can we do things more effectively and learn from people. Uh, and still actually I'm, I'm hoping to, from the TED program, we are... Uh, one of the mentors there, or advisors there, is looking for an HR, like a professional HR professional, to to actually coach us. So hopefully it's going to happen sometime this month. So I, I, uh, we'll see if that does happen. But yeah, cool. we 
it would be nice to find like even if you guys are you know going through HR departments and you see somebody that you'd like to work with ask them hey coach us you know SME yeah so that you know own it okay. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the last word own it all right <laughs> yeah okay well that sounds good so yeah we'll look forward to next week meeting uh, see what happens let's uh, see those numbers all growing right. up all right yeah keep y'all posted and we'll check in yeah use the use all the right. network for all the public yeah like we should be using that like instead of email threads let's try to see if we can actually migrate to the hr group i don't know if that's feasible but let's try to get trained on the going to the HR group as much as as much post like that's our public discussion thread uh, that should be that so as opposed to emails we should be trying to post as much there as we can so let's see if we can make that work otherwise uh, okay we'll talk next week uh, that'll be cool. all right okay all right guys well thanks so much then talk talk in a week and throughout mm -hmm. yeah. take care